How important is writing? It's the key, the key to the locked door of your success. I write on writing. Right now I'm speaking to you about writing. It's the core of my personal success. What I'm reading to you today is the second part of a short course on how I write for each area of my outreach. My success is all about my mix of messages combined with the searchable words on both content and title that creates attraction. Writing generates proactive connections, followers, likers, subscribers, and customers. And get this, all for free. Here's how to write on LinkedIn. When you're making a connection, do not use their standard line. I'd like to add you to my list of contacts. Write something customized. Words that might interest the other person. If you're looking for a job, ask a question about the type of person they're looking for. If you're making a statement or offering a, a value message to all your connections, know the rules first. Make certain that it provides value first and some kind of solicitation second or even in a second message. My LinkedIn profile is searchable under my name, Jeffrey Gittimer. Look at my posts, especially my summary, my self-description. All the words in my profile were carefully chosen to attract like-minded people or people who might need me. Here's a note. With the help of my social media consultants, I use One Social Media. Their web address is onesocialmedia.com, all one word. I've linked all of my social media accounts. When I post on Twitter, it immediately appears on my LinkedIn profile page. This generates lots of comments and dialogue from my connections. So how do you write scripts for compelling YouTube videos? Well, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world and catching up. Your video posts on YouTube are no longer an option. Value messages to your customers, testimonials to prove your claims, and short pieces that interest and attract viewers are the keys to winning. Choose words wisely and titles wisely. There are between 150 and 180 words in a 60 second video. And one to five minutes is the maximum that you can expect somebody to watch. So make certain that your words are directed to and help others. If the words we or our are in your message, that's a clue that you're going in the wrong direction. Your subject matter must have value to someone else or it's not gonna get watched. You're the giver and you want the receiver to be given a personal thing. It's you and your, not we and our. Your title must contain your name and the subject or it will not get found. And here's a note, I'm YouTube proactive. When I post a new video, I usually record and post my weekly column, I tell everybody on my list. This immediately creates thousands of views and authenticates it for somebody else who just stumbles on it. My YouTube channel is by Gittimer, all one word, B-U-Y-G-I-T-O-M-E-R. Take a look. Take a look at the assortment, the titles, the length, the content, and the quality of my offerings. As I'm speaking to you right now, I've got about 2.3 million total views. This is a result of building a following by offering consistent value messages, by writing consistent value messages in favor of those who watch. And I write those pieces all over the place. The message, the script, the title, your own channel, and the trailer message at the end to watch more or do something are all vital parts of your writing challenge. The view count and the subscription sign up are your report card. Here's how to write a blog post. My blog is less than two years old. It was a combination of procrastination and stupidity that took me so long to get into the blog world. At the moment, it's one of my most read and watched resources, one of my best lead sources. A few years ago, I bought the URL salesblog.com and then I finally launched it. Blog posts need to be short, contain video whenever possible, and link to something or some people that can see more or buy more. Oh yeah, posts must be readable by and engaging to the people that you seek to attract. No adverbs. Let me give you a few examples of what to write about. 
If you're a retail clothier, write about fashion or the 10 best places to dress up and be seen. Have a contest where the winner gets two tickets to Fashion Week. If you're a pharmaceutical or medical device salesperson, write about bedside manner. If you sell fitness equipment, write about unknown exercises or how to get rid of the 10 pounds that you wish you didn't have, like me. Here's the formula. Write about how the customer wins and you become a winner in their eyes. Write twice a week and you stay top of mind. There's still more to come on specific subjects that can influence others to connect and act. So stay tuned for how to write emails, subject lines, short speeches, and an article, your personal commercial, and ultimately, a book. I'll see you. Keep writing. Have fun.